Okay, let's do this question one together. Seems like I'm repeating this question because why? It's because I had load shedding during my video recording. So we had this question one. They say, hey, solve for X. This is the structure of your question one. Solve for X most of the time, all the time, actually. So we have 1.1.1 they say hey you have given this x uh, minus half equal to zero i want to mention this and i would say it once you only equate this term outside the bracket to zero and what is inside to zero only if you are given in this nature there's no there's nothing here added or subtracted there's nothing uh, 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 on the other side of the equal sign all the time you have to check is any term added here if you have plus two here minus two you have to multiply the bracket but if you have nothing nothing at all just like this and here you have equal to zero here you are allowed to say this is equal to zero and this is equal to zero and then here you solve for x you divide by two both side then you solve for x this is your first x your second x will be you take this to the other side the sign will change then you'll have this what this one over two let's move on and then we have what we have 1.1.2 okay and in this case we are given 4x squared plus 11x uh, equal to 2 in this case remember we are doing quadratic standard form in grade 11 so you take this to the other side then you have um, the following now on this side you have minus 2 equal to 0. What is going on here? Once they say correct to 2 decimal, they will put it in bracket next to the problem. What do you do? You know now we are going to use what? A quadratic formula, which is this one. We have to pay attention. This is not there in your uh, formula sheet. You don't have it. They don't give it to you. Okay, so you need to have this uh in your head for a c this is very important you do this correct like this this is the correct way okay then what next then remember we are working with this quadratic format plus c in grade 11 so this a is equal to 4 and this b equal to 11 and this c is equal to negative 2 do you get that then you take these values you wherever you see a you put 4 wherever you see b you put 11 wherever you see c you put negative 2 let's go now we have b here which means i'm putting 11 plus or minus aha uh -huh. We have b here, but the squared, I'm putting 11, I'm putting back the squared. Minus 4, I have a, I'm putting 4, I have c, I'm putting in negative 2. We have to pay attention to this one, it's very important. And then you have what? Aha, I'm having a here, I'm putting what? I'm putting 4. Now, what next? In this case, and then you can, because we need two x's here. We have the first a x and the fix the, the, the second x how to get them correct you punch all this like this on your calculator and then the first x you put a plus here because you can't put plus or minus the first x you put a plus here the second x you put minus that's a difference so four plus you will get um zero comma one seven four if you put minus here you will get what you'll get negative two nine 
comma 92 i mean so this is what you're gonna get all right let's go for the next one this one is always there you have you must know what to do all the time okay you must know is very important you must know what to do with this one equal to zero okay in this case what is very important this problem is always there most of the time is always five marks what you must do you isolate the root what do i mean make sure the root is on its own is alone on the other side one side of the equals, of the equal sign it doesn't matter if it's this side or that side okay so in this case i think it's best to remove this one to take this one to the other side why it's because we are going to avoid this thing you know this one is negative if we take this one to the other side which means we have to deal with this negative thing so let's save our time and ourselves so which means if i'm taking this to the other side i'll be having positive root 8 minus 2x okay now from here what to do you have to remove this root how to remove this root all the time you put aha your square board side here you will have x squared in this side all the time when you are uh, you, you square square root like this you it's like it disappears you can't okay you get what is inside the root or under the root okay this is more like root times root you get what is inside come on go check your sets go check your sets you'll know what i mean okay now what is the next step remember we are solving for x which means we take everything to the other side okay you can take this one but that would be complicated again you'll have negative uh first term so we're avoiding that we take this to the other side so we have this uh plus 2x minus 8 okay remember everything changes remember the sign changed this is plus 2 now it was negative now this is what negative now this is what negative 8 why because we took it to the other side of the equal sign now do we have factors yes we do aha how do we get factors again remember whatever you put here must give you the first term whatever you put here must give you the last term and then when you add these two you must get then the coefficient of the middle term is very important and the sign must be correct must be correct okay so we have x times x will give you x squared right do you agree that one so you can put four and two okay two times this will okay four times two will give you eight but now the sign will go to the uh, to the bigger number the sign of this term so minus so this times this will give you eight but if you say um if you say if you say four plus negative two you get that two so which means your x will be equal to negative four or your x will be uh two this is this is your axis let's go for the for for the what for the inequality we have 1.1.4 and i love this one because it's always there as well so you can expect it in many versions uh inequality is always there grade 11 we have to know this one is always there all right so what to do here again we are working with this format in grade 11 be like this you must make sure you manipulate and get this version get this form is very important how to get this form in this from what is given x times x is x squared x times negative 7 this is negative 7x plus uh, what plus 12 and then the sign so and the sign here will never change in this case so you have to open the bracket as you can see we have squared uh, here we have x and we have the constant here so what to do you open two brackets the sign 
doesn't change. So x times x will give you what? x squared. Now we need two numbers that will give us 12, but when we add them, will give us 7. How can we do that one? Is 4 and 3. Minus 3 is 4, minus or negative 4. Uh, and negative 3 when you multiply if you okay when you multiply these two you get positive 12 when you add them you get negative 7 that is a game now in this case what do you do you this is not we are not looking for x here okay this is equality okay from this step what do you do you look for your critical values this is when you say okay x is equal to 4 you tell your marker this is not my final answer but is my word is my critical value uh, this is equal to 3 the next step you I always recommend this one to my students okay this side you put a smaller number this side you put a bigger number and then don't worry you just look at this sign okay put your X here copy that sign put the smaller one the bigger one this side this is what they want then you are covered and then 1.2 which is the last one let's do simultaneous we have x 3y minus 5 and we have what we have 2x minus y minus 2 aha uh -huh. And then plus y, okay, x plus y. Ah, let me not, let me not talk. Let me stop talking because I'm like I'm saying the wrong stuff while I'm doing the right stuff. Okay, my mind and my hand are not corresponding in this point. They always give you two equations: the one that looks simple, the one that looks complicated. So your job is to make one of the variables the subject of the formula. But in this case, they just gave it to you as solved or simplified. So you can see x is equal to this, which means wherever you see x, you will replace x with this. Okay, you can name them. This is one and this is two. So you can say, okay, substitute equation one into equation two. Okay, let's do that. Wherever there is x, we put what? We put what? We can put the big bracket here. You can put, yeah, can I do that? Okay, yes, never I can do that. You can put a big bracket here. And then you, you wherever there is x, you put you put this so there is x here 2x so now i'm putting 3y minus 5 where there is x minus remember this is minus okay this is minus y um this is minus y and okay i have to put this bracket because this is multiplying minus y and then minus 2 then I'm closing what? I'm closing the bracket now, the big one. All right. So, and then outside, I also have what? I'm also having this one. I don't think I need a bracket here. Uh, let me just put the small one. I don't think I need a bracket. I'll put as 3y minus 5. Why? It's because this is why. It's just adding the thing equal to 0. Now I have to simplify this. I have to simplify this. Let me start with the bracket first. So 2 times 3, I'm having 6y. So 2 times negative 5, I'm having negative 10 minus y minus 2. This is also aha, multiplying, remember. This is also multiplying from the original. And then we are putting this down here as it is because i like to do stuff step by step now let's add the y's we have 6y minus y let's do that so we are left with 5y and then let's do this this is going to be negative 12 okay and then let's do the same thing this side we have what uh we have 3y plus plus 1y so I'm having 4y's minus 5 oh seems like I'm having factors already here 
there's no need to open or to multiply and do that thing because it seems like I'm having factors. Okay, let's sort it out. Let's sort it out. Let's sort it out. Seems like now the math allows you to equate to zero. So you can say 5y minus 12 equal to zero or 4y minus 5 equal to 0. Then what do I do now? What do I do now? I say, oh, 5y, I take this to the other side. The sign will change, remember? And then you divide by 5 both sides. This 5 will cancel 5. So my first y will be 12 over 5. Okay? And now my second y, okay, is 4y equal to, now I'm I'm taking this 5 to the other side, is 5. Now I'm dividing by 4, by 4, this is going to be equal to y, equal to 5 over 4. Did you get that? Simultaneous. Now we got our y's. Okay, the next move, we are looking for x now, which means you take this value, you substitute where there is y to get x. And then you take this one, you substitute where there is y to get x. All right, let's do that one. Okay, now for x, I'll black. Okay, 3, where there is y, now I'm putting what? I'm putting 12, the value of y, over 5, uh, remember, minus 5. Now, whatever I get here, this is going to be my x. Now, what am I getting here? Using my calculator, I'm getting 11 over 5. Okay, let's do it this side again. Aha, where there is y, we are putting this. Remember? Okay, guys, it's all shading. It's all shading now. Oh, God, it's all shading. I'm leaving. Thank you so much. Please subscribe. Please like. Please comment. It's all shading. Thank you. Bye.